everyone, Nancy with Our Treasure Home, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I talk with my hands a lot. So, today I have set my camera on a wall of paper towels with a, um, we call them jelly jars with at this size with the next one down and our canning jars. That is behind the camera to keep the camera up like this because my little stand that's on the camera will be at an angle and I want y'all to see what I'm doing. So today, I have brought y'all along about how I cook and what I cook and why I cook. So I'm going to show y'all real quick what I am cooking. Yes, we do have a fire extinguisher. So today I have radishes and radish skins, cauliflower, white onions, sugar snap peas, and celery. I may add some things to that. But that's, and I'm going to season it with garlic powder, oregano, parsley, chives, my kosher salt, and I'll probably add some black pepper. Woo, there's my hand. So let's see, did I? There we go. So what I put in first, and my skillet's hot. My cast iron skillet's already hot. I heat it up and it's smoking. But uh, we're going to add a little bit of I uh, add the hardy vegetables first because they take a little bit longer to cook. And I use extra virgin olive oil. I am trying to try this thing. I'm going to use this one. I guess I have to slide the ends on it. We've got this one. So I've got my vegetables in here. Oh, a trick. A couple of sugar snap peas snuck in there. And I toss this around. I might add a couple of seasonings in there while it's cooking. It just depends. Sometimes I'll add during, sometimes the beginning, sometimes after. So, and it depends on how fast you want it to cook. I'll put a top on it. Yes, I add a little bit extra. And you can use olive oil you can use whatever oil you want that's what we have oh we also have vegetable oil I know I have not grinded it more oh, my timer just went off I have not grinded it <laughs> more black pepper yet so but I mean you have sesame seed oil you have that avocado um grapeseed oil you can cook with this, no. But they ain't like different oils like that. Well, of course, they have chili oil up here. And, uh, mm. So, while this is cooking down, what has happened? I have said, uh, you know, I tell you, I'm going to link the videos down there and then I forget. So, We'll just go with, I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> so, it is 2022. So, this happened in 2017. 18, 19. Yes, 2017. Uh, we were going to the park and all. And the first couple of times, I don't think we found any text. It may have been with the first or second time. Probably the third time, definitely, there was a couple of ticks on us and everything. And it was enough that from the time we went from the park to the car to home, you know, we found it on the 
Anastasia didn't find it on me till later, that was enough. Um, and that was like July, August of 2017. And a couple of weeks later, maybe a month, at the end of the month, I noticed stuff with my hands. And, you know, never put two and two together. You know, was going through some things. Now, what I'm going through right now seems like a back then was a piece of cake. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, my hands it would be like little blisters, so they filled with you know, think of your sunburn you had, and that was all over this hand. It was all over this hand. It would. Start here, all right. Now, this one's starting. That's because, and I'll explain that in a minute. But it will start here, and then it goes into the cracks. And then all your cracks are your hands. And my hands were splitting. And my, oh, uh, right through here. I couldn't wear my mother's ring and grandmother's ring. It was, my hands were split right where your creases are, right between the fingers. And I would have to keep my hands like this. And I used antibiotic cream and itching is part of the symptoms. Um, and put my hands in H, your H bandage and wrap my hands up so that my fingers, I didn't want to lose my fingers. So, and keep my hands like this. That one, it would get better, then it would get worse. Finally, it's January of 2018, I went to the doctor, and he said it was eczema, and I looked at him, I said, this is not eczema, and I, I know, I knew, I knew it was not eczema, so, um, by the time we had started to slack off eating pork products, except for bacon, so we you know, still eating hamburger, beef, cows, yeah, and um, we had bacon, and then we started going, um, I think, not necessarily, you know, eliminating all meat, chicken and turkey and beef, and we just start laying off pork. Well, we laid off pork. Uh my hands started to get better and part of that situation back then um, was the ex-boyfriend um, I'll tell you that now, that was over and done with everything so you know my hands would clear up a little bit more so then we thought it was stress and I was like well, this is not stress this is something definitely that I'm eating. So we was, uh, no, we didn't have beef every single night, or we didn't, or uh, like spaghetti or chili or hamburgers and everything. We ate chicken, and then you know we would rotate and everything. And then we moved here in 2018, and my hands got better and everything. And then um, it'd be on and off. Like usual, and then you know it get better, and then it get worse. So then I start. I said, "Well, this has got to be something I'm eating." So I started from scratch. I eliminated eliminated everything that I thought could be causing my hands to flare up. Um, so that went on for about a year, in May of. 2020 when the it things started to happen and we had to wear gloves and masks and everything so that was like May of 2020 um, we went to World King and you know we put gloves on and had the mask and with those it was nitrate gloves because it was the powder free and my hands started to clear up 
what is this? And it was like something I'm touching. So I started doing, you know, what I'm, I started making a list. What am I touching and everything and making a diary, logging stuff. And I'm like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Well, August of 2021, right before her first grade started and everything, my hands went ballistic. And, uh, I, you know, you're devastated because, you know, we do a lot with your hands. Whether you work with your hands or not, you still do a lot with your hands. You cook, you clean, you wash your body, you, you know, whatever. I mean, I couldn't sew, I couldn't crochet, I couldn't do nothing. I just got a new sewing machine for Christmas. I was like, getting stuff down, learning how to do all this other stuff again, and couldn't do it. You know, my hands were right back, and they were worse. So, I was like, okay. So, we went, I went back through that process of elimination. Um, went, you know, almost vegan, almost, but not completely. Uh, started eating more yogurt and stuff, you know, to clean my body out and everything. And I was like, something's going on. I'm not going to the doctor because he already told me he thought it was eczema and this was an eczema. So, I was like, I could this got to be the guinea pig and figure out what's going on. Carrots. I can't have carrots. That's organic. And that has, you know, that really has to be careful with that too. Then, um, potatoes. I knew potatoes. I couldn't have those but once a week. Um, and then there was other things. And not realizing that spicy food or spices like red pepper flakes and your chili powders and um, jalapenos and habaneros everything were stuff, you know, nightshades or tomatoes your peppers all cause inflammation so I was like didn't know that that's what I was eating because you know eating healthier so real quick we're going to add some garlic powder uh, probably about a teaspoon garlic powder. Onion powder. Yes, there's onions in there. Just love onions. So I'll add a little bit of that. This, this thing has big holes. And so it comes out <laughs> really fast. The same with the parsley. It's about like a half teaspoon there. Chives. Yeah, that's another one like that. No, I like chives, so but uh, probably like a teaspoon of that and then oregano which is another one that has a big hole so a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of that okay so back to the process of elimination and so I start taking those foods out and then I stopped eating pasta because I was like well maybe it could be the pasta you know eat that once a week or something like I said didn't realize the nightshades caused inflammation so I started eating more chicken and turkey, you know, stuff like that, and during the day, you know, making lunches for us, so everybody else was working, and I decided to do a Daniel fast, because I wanted to see what was really going on. So I did that, and my hands, I did... Daniel, I didn't have any meat. I was just doing all vegetables and beans and proteins like that. And my hands cleared up. And I was like, okay. Um, 
we get it somewhere. So one night we had um, hamburgers, and I noticed well, it was really bad if I ate something that I knew that I didn't know at the time. It would immediately, within an hour or so, itching is part of it. It's itching and burning, and then you look, and then the blisters pop up. So the itching started, and I was like. Okay, we'll see here. So the next night, now this is this past August that this is I was we were I was cooking, and we had roast. So I ate, you know I cooked the roast and ate the roast and a teaspoon of kosher salt. Oh, maybe half a teaspoon. So. I'm standing here cooking just like this, and the next day after the roast, after the roast, remember that part, I'm putting in the sugar snap peas and the salt. And the reason why I did that last is because they cook really fast. Everything else is just about done. So we can toss that in until it's soft like you want it. So, so <laughs> uh, I was sitting here cooking the roast, and after the, I was cooking the next day after the roast, and my hands, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on, Lord? I'm like, my hands are cleared up, I, what, I don't know, and it's just, just like, I'm talking to you, he goes, it's the beef, what did you just eat, twice in a row, and I was like, Oh man, it's be it's almost like okay. So now it's like then the Lord told me, don't eat the beef. Okay, I stopped eating it and my hands cleared up. Now I'm gonna tell you, um, even if it's just a drop of grease, I don't care if it's steak. Hamburger, bacon, if there's a residue in another pan, and they we cook, you know, go back and forth in cooking, it flares my reaction up. So, we cook in separate pans, <laughs> we cook at separate times. Because I can't, I can't have anything that has any residue with it. So, I cut out the beef, I cut out cow, pork, no, we already cut out pork, I didn't have any more, um, my head's cut off, so, bacon, I was eating, so we start, they put on the glass, I start eating ch chicken and turkey, turkey bacon, turkey sausage, chicken, and it's like, you know, sometimes you get tired of the same well, so, now, um, because Ellen on Ellen's Abundant Life on Less, she is vegetarian, vegan, and she does a lot of stuff with tofu. So I was like, so I got them, got me some tofu for me. I won't try. And I was like, all right, I'm going to figure out things to eat vegetables, beans, or protein, different proteins. Yes. I love chicken in so many ways. You can fix chicken. But sometimes you just want something different. So, with all that, from August of 2021 to now, um, I I kind of don't know what some things I can eat to some things I can't. Regular carrots are no. Um, now, the nightshades, tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, and all kinds of peppers. And I'm just like, I love peppers. So, some people have asked, maybe it's the chemicals on the food or, you know, whatever they're feeding the animals. It could possibly be that way. I have tried any organ you know, non-GMO, organic grass-fed beef and everything. Mm-mm. This all comes from a tick 
bite. It is not um, the other thing you just gonna take bite. But anyway, I have what's called Alpha Gal or Gal A L P H A dash G A L. So with that, your body reacts. The chemicals in your body change, and you cannot have any animal products, dairy. Now, like um, animal products, like beef, cow, you know, your cows, your pigs, deer. You know, people eat horse and cat, um, bulls and buffalo stuff like that. Yeah, that's a not guy for me. And, yeah, I have my hands cleared up. I did all that. So, one night I was like, all right, let's, I'll, I'll be the guinea pig again. I want to know for sure. And sure enough, yeah. My son is, he should have been a chef because he can cook like nobody. Oh, my goodness. He is excellent. He can just take anything and put it together. Of course, they wash cooking shows, he, um, growing up, watched Good Eats, Alton Brown, and he just go in the kitchen and grab something and cook it up, and uh, it was awesome. So, now, uh, you know, trying to do different dishes as part of what the channel is about. Uh, I'm still on different levels of what vegetables I can't have what I can't have. So a lot of times y'all will see a lot of the same vegetables. And I'm trying to cook them in different ways. Because, you know, when you say tread water lightly. <laughs> sometimes you do. And then and sometimes you don't. And now, the last thing I'm going to add... I have Napa cabbage. Now I have, and I didn't show this in the video. I didn't do a video on it, um, but I should have. Uh, I made sauerkraut with Napa cabbage. And it tastes like sauerkraut, but it kind of just wasn't the same. What I'm gonna do is just chop this up real quick. Now. We go to, they go to a, a, a Korean store and get this big Korean cabbage. Y'all have seen that. And, <laughs> that is so good. Anastasia loves that cabbage. So, yeah, I've got that in there. Because like I said, it takes only a Seconds. Oh, maybe a minute for this cabbage to cook. Sometimes I let it go in all, you know, just to get it all heated up. So, um, learning, still learning different things. Now, yesterday, um, beans or black eyed peas and it was cold I was cold so I just want had a big made a big thing of black eyed peas yep so this is about done I'm gonna bring you around and show you what I made this one, then I'll be right back. I have a plate. Yes, I have a paper plate. <laughs> Alrighty, so here are the black eyed peas. I'll heat them up again later. And this is what I y'all been hearing, sizzling and cooking. Everything else mostly good. Now, 
There are other things you can add. You know, if you don't have this, you can use flaxseed. You can add a little bit of sesame seeds. That was a little bit. Pop, and then we're going to plate. Now, I mean, I could put all this on there. Usually, I do, and whatever is left over, I'll save for later. I'll put that right there. And I eat this thing. I do eat with a fork. Uh, most of the time, oh, when I got hurt in 2009, I ate with a spoon because my hands just, you know, couldn't want the grasping stuff very well. So, here 